Dear students, welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. We are going to discuss about the scholarship opportunities in United States of America for session 2024 and 2025. We have a full list of bachelor's, master's and PhD scholarships for international students. And we will show you full process for this and how do you apply for these opportunities and deadline uh, remains until the uh, year 2024. So you can apply throughout the year for multiple scholarships. Before we discuss about this, let me remind you to subscribe our YouTube channel Full Scholarships and do check out our Instagram page as well. The link for this uh, uh, USA scholarship is given in the video description below. You can check out the YouTube video description. Link is given there. Also, the link is given in the about section of the YouTube and link is also given in the Instagram bio. And you can also scan the QR code on the Instagram posts or the scholarship that you are looking for. It will take the same scholarship that you are scanning the code for. Also, you can directly visit our website fullscholarships.net or cashmidook.com. It's the easiest way to reach us. And once you are on our website, you can read about the list of this United Nations uh, United States scholarships for session 2024-2025. First on the list, we have the Rotary Peace Scholarship, Peace Fellowship. Second, we have the Joint Japan World Bank Graduate Scholarship. Third, we have the Fulbright Foreign Student Program. Fourth is the Knight Hensey. Uh, scholarship at Stanford University. Fifth is the University of Miami Stamps Scholarship. Sixth is the EWC Graduate Degree Program. And seventh is the Harvard University MBA Scholarship. Eighth is the Bill Gates Scholarship. So it's from the Gates Foundation. So you can see we have compiled up to eight scholarships there are on the website fullscholarships.net. So you can choose any of the appropriate scholarships. We have also premiered separate videos for each of the scholarships on our YouTube channel, Full Scholarships. Uh, you can just go through the YouTube channel and you can see different scholarships are there and you can search by uh, night hence the uh, scholarship at Stanford University by full scholarships.net it will be there on the search so you can apply for them by watching the separate videos but today we'll still show you how do you apply suppose you choose this rotary peace fellowship program to apply simply you have to click on this link here so click on the link upon clicking on the link you can see official rotary website is here and you should remember that uh, rotary clubs are in each country and in each city you should check out the local rotary clubs uh, by searching on the rotary official website and you can check the local members participants in this rotary clubs and this is an organization having the local offices in each and every country you can check out now once you click on the official website you can see the fellowship program choose the master's program or the professional development certificate program you can apply for any of these programs now here you can see master's degree program, you can learn more about them. Then application timeline is given here. So and here you can see application is available through online link until 15th of May. Here you can see the link is given here. So you have to click on this link here. Now once you click on that link, uh, you can see Peace Fellowship application form is here. And you can see uh, apply now button is given here. So until 15th of May, you can submit the application. It's clearly mentioned here. So click on this apply now button. Once you click on that, you can see the login and the sign up page is here for the first time users if you do not have account so you have to click on this uh, register so enter your email create a password your first name last name your phone number and simply register i already have registered so i'll just use the same details to login so i'll just choose the login details here i have so please enter the email and the password then simply click on the login as you see i have successfully logged in uh, I had previously submitted last year's application. Now I have submitted 2025 application. So I can view previous application as well as I can edit my application. Similarly for you, you can add first time application. So on your dashboard, there will be nothing. So you can, uh, there will be apply button. So you have to click on that. And similarly, uh, you can apply for the application. So I'll show you the application, how the ingredients looks inside this. So you can see application overview. First, you have to accept this uh, terms and conditions and click on save and next. Then qualification and eligibility. So work experiences, you should have a minimum of four years of experience. And then uh, you must not be uh, like you have been, ever been. So you must not be a season of the or the member of the Rotary Club in the past years. You have to mention and answer all these questions accordingly. Then candidate certification. So you have to certify that you hold a degree from the uh, in the university you have or you are participating you are currently studying in any of the programs in any of the universities and then uh, you have to also mention that you have you have been selected in any of these universities so suppose you have received the offer from Uppsala University 
Sweden, you can uh, sub, submit the offer letter here and then you are eligible for this scholarship as well. Queensland, UK, so you can see multiple scholarships are there. So you mentioned you agree to terms and conditions that we have the offer from these institutions. Click on save and next, then go to the personal information. Enter your details as per your passport, as per the citizenship ID, phone number, permit address, and then uh, basic details. Then click on the program, find it, then select the program you have applied or you have received the offer for. Then master's degree program, so you can see different programs. Then you have to select the preference. Suppose first preference, you have to receive two offer letters. So you can give preferences. First, I have given to Queensland, then I have given to Bradford University. So similarly, you might have Oxley University, so you can go give first preference to that. So how the number of offers you have, you can give ranking as per the first and second preferences. After that, the district finder. So in university, there will be a particular district and you can see list of countries where the offices are there. And suppose I have uh, submitted this and here is the district code you can get and find and you can this this code can be uh, able this is available on the rotary official website you can find that or you can directly choose from the countries list here then click on the relevant experiences so you can see i have selected 3.5 years of experiences because four years is uh, three years is minimum so i have selected 3.5 up to four years then current position i am not employed yet and uh, i have previously held one position suppose an intern then you can mention the details of the organization where you have completed that and you can upload the resume here then education details Similarly, the bachelor's degree or master's degree, you have then the transcripts of that. After that, cross-culture experience, you have visited any other countries previously or have you volunteered anywhere, so you can submit that. After the, the language videos, uh, sorry, language uh, proficiencies, suppose I have English, so you can submit that. Then personal statement video. So you have to record a video and then uh, like a personal statement you have to record. And then uh, why should we select for this? How do you view after the completing this course? What's your vision, future plan, scope? and that and then you have to record and upload an mp4 file here and then simply go to the next that is the essay after that you have to write an essay you have to answer all these uh, parts of the essay so here's three to four parts are there so minimum 500 words you have to fill and answer this why uh, does your academic experience and background make you uh, make you uh, unique for this uh, research program or this fellowship discuss your academic interests or research interest and how did you uh, how did your application like be stand out from the other applications you have to mention that after that recommendations so mention your recommendations like academic or non-academic both you can mention that and you can send invitations to the professors and after that uh you can review the eligibility here so you can see uh if there are any issues you can just update them and also in the recommendations you can see if you got the recommendation from the district a recommendation rotary club or any chairman or any parts wedding uh, individual from the rotary club you can upload that uh, reference as well that will be an additional to the recommendations so after review you can just submit the application as i did so you can see once you submit the application i will go to the home page here here you can see this type of application will be there so i hope you have no doubts now left if you still have you can just ask us in the comment section about this rotary peace fellowship and now next is the joint japan world bank graduate scholarship program to apply for this you can simply click on this link here and once you click on that you can see uh, world bank scholarship program is there and joint japan world bank scholarship and application one is closed now application second is there until 24th of may you can apply and to simply apply uh, you can see the link for the scholarship form will be communicated to the candidates who have uh, unconditional or conditional offer from the joint japan any of the university participating universities from the master's degree and uh, you can see the list of uh, universities here so click on this link to see the list of universities participating so now once you click on that you can see australian national university these programs are participating uh, erasmus university rotterdam you can see harvard university uh, dell university uh, kiwi university london school of economics national uh, graduate university of policy and studies at the MI University, so SOS University, Stanford University, Clementon University, so Hong Kong, Leeds, Oxford, Sussex, and the Tokyo, Skaba, and the Yokohama University. So you can see 18 institutions are there and they have multiple programs. So you can apply for any of the programs if you got acceptance to these. You can simply, once you got accepted to any of these listed programs, you will obviously receive an by default a link for the scholarship that is the JJSP. So you have you will receive the form for that. So you have to fill that and that's it. Suppose you want to go for this, so you can click on this master supply mid change in the Australian National University. So you can see programs are there. So you can see apply now button is given here. So click on the apply button here on the right hand side. Then for this international applicants, you can see click on this apply as an international applicant. And once you click on that, 
it will take you this registration process this is the application manager for the first time users you have to register and for already registered users you can simply uh, simply log in so i have already uh, let me uh, first try to register see the form here you can see basic form is there first name last name confirm the email and you have to uh, choose the gender and then email and after that confirm the email so after that uh, create a password then uh, are you still in citizenship so no we am not and do you intend to apply for a uh, research degree or study program at this so you can say yes and uh, what's your country of citizenship so you can mention that this should be as per your passport and then agree to terms and conditions and click on the register so after successful registration you can simply log in and you can see uh, your application for masters of climate change so before you start so you can click on continue so that you can read the terms and conditions supporting documentation so you should have these ready and handy in a separate folder then you can simply upload that so this is the first step after that you have the second step you can see uh, details of the program you wish so here you can see you can change the program as well as you can have to select the intake so which you want i'll go for the january 1st 2025 then uh, you can pick the program second preference if you want suppose i will go with the a graduate study so same preference i'll do and you can give the third preference here so let me choose that and give the other preferences then personal details here you can see you have to give that and after that have you previously applied to you so no we have not and then upload the uh, this is the supporting document so let me upload the file here and after that uh, do you have disability so you have to select yes and no then address details select the country and address city state so you have to mention that and after that postcode and is your different address or not so you can mention that is your address same so yes it is same then contact details phone number and then uh, citizenship details so are you in permanent australian season or australian new zealand season so i'm not and please indicate your citizenship so country of other than australia country of birth mention that and do you hold uh, or have australia visa in past six so no i have not have you applied for a visa to Australia? So no, I have not. Have you had a refusal? So no, I have not. Have you breached any conscience? So no. Convinced any crime? So no, I have not. Then uh, I already hold a bachelor's degree. Uh, you have to mention the if you have any, you want to go for other bachelor's degree or any of the conscience. So you can click on save and continue. And after you click on save and continue, it will take you to the next step. Uh, Let's see the next step. This was the basic information. This was the step one. After that, step two, three attachments. And now you can see step two English proficiency. So, how do you intend to satisfy the English? So, you can see prior study is conducted in English. So, if what at what level? So, you can see postgraduate and degree level. So, you can see uh it you can skip eyelids in some of the ways here so you can see date of completion and highest level of uh prior education achievement so you can mention that i have got bachelor's i'll mention that academic qualifications so you can mention level of degrees here and categories of qualification name of the qualification after that you can select the institution here 
So is the country where you have completed your bachelor's? Let me just how about any other random universities here? Click on OK. Completed. Yes, I have completed. When did you complete? So you have to mention the dates. You got enrolled and you got completed. Attended to. After that, attach the transcript. And this is the any other documents you have, you can submit that like degree certificate. Placing any program uh, excluded from any programs you previously created any exclusions. So I have not. So I'll select no. After that, select the employment. You have employment history. So no, I have not government statistics. I'll skip this financial scholarship. So please identify this main source of funding. So you can see scholarship. Please select the country in which scholarship based so you can mention uh, like Australia. This is so I'll select Australia and please select the name of the scholarship so you can say uh, the scholarship is joint Japan World Bank scholarship. So you have to find it here. So you can see uh, worldwide the World Bank. Then are you applying for a partnership or an agreement? So you can say yes and no. Then click on save and close or you can continue here and uh, you can fill that application. So let me continue this. See what's there left. So second part is done. So now uh, there is the third that is declaration. So you have to certify all these here. You have to take consent the information. You have to read them as well. lot of so you can then give the names here then click on continue so you can see certain times and conditions were there and in the attachments let's see if we are missing anything or not so it's done now almost so after that, there's the application fee. You have to pay that. Once you pay that, you can verify the application and then you can simply submit. If you have a voucher code, you can ask university by application fee waiver. So you can uh, submit that application fee waiver. And once you have the application fee waiver, you have to have a voucher code. You can submit that voucher code here. And after that, uh, you can be having a zero application fee for this and so you can see this is one of the scholarships similarly uh, like we were talking about the USA scholarship this was the Australian National University similarly you can apply for Harvard uh, you can apply for this London School of Economics Stanford University in USA so you can see multiple USA scholarships are there as well similarly you can go for Fulbright foreign scholarships link is given there Knight Hensi uh, Stanford University scholarship link is also given there. Miami Stamps scholarship link is also given there. And you can check other scholarships and apply for them. We have already posted video about these scholarships on our YouTube channel for scholarships. You have to just go there and search. And uh, if you still have doubt, you can just ask us in the comment section or you can just directly message us on Instagram. And uh, do remember that you just need to subscribe before messaging us and do follow us on Instagram page as well. Directly visit our website fullscholarships.net and cashmanup.com. Keep watching. Have a nice day.